Today, we rebuilt SC Braga, the sleeping giant of Portuguese football. Officially formed in 1921, they are considered one of the biggest clubs in Portugal outside of the big three who dominate the league. They have won three Taca de Portugals, three Taca de Ligas, and even won the Intertoto Cup back in 2008. And despite coming second in 2010, they have never been able to win the Portuguese league. They also have a fantastic academy which has produced such talents such as Pedro Neto and Tiago Mendes. Our mission is to break up the big three Portuguese teams, cause some disruption, win a title for Braga, win domestic cups, and even try and squeeze in a European cup. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. Eyebrows have been raised, probably because I've changed it up and I've got a red eye patch now. This club is also called the Arsenalistas because of their kit looking just like Arsenal's. I mean, be a little bit more original, guys. And there you go. Kit just like Arsenal's. Coming second and bottling a lot, just like Arsenal. <laughs> Decent reputation. I really like the badge. Really like that logo, actually. Very nice little crown on the top there and castles and crenulated towers. Uh, reputation, very good. Fourth, we are predicted. So we're, we're almost there. We're literally just knocking on the door of the big three. Our first rivals are Victoria. They are in our league. We've got secure finances, so mm, that's all right. But we've actually got some money to spend, which is always a good sign. £277,000 on a wage budget. Oh, that's lovely. And the best thing about this... 30,000 plastic stadium, love that. Superb training facilities, excellent youth facilities, and mm, good youth recruitment sliding scale. But I always want to bring through the youth as much as I can, if it's ever possible. I don't think we've ever actually featured anyone who's had a huge impact on the team yet in any rebuilds. I try to do our best in this one. We're also in the Champions League. That is awesome. I'm really happy with that. So money already is going to be coming in nicely. This team is stacked from front to back. I'm really happy. Look how good Mateus is. The Brazilian goalkeeper finding himself very unlucky to not be capped for his nation of Brazil. 16 communication, 17 reflexes. He's going to be a fantastic sweeper keeper for us. About to blow the dust off Jose Font 50 times capped for Portugal. Can't believe he's in the squad. Amazing. It looks like he's just joined us. He's not played a single game yet. Oh, I don't think he will play a single game, mate. He can't run. He's got no legs. He runs the same pace as a toddler. But he's got amazing heading, amazing leadership, amazing positioning and marking. Oh, I really don't want to play you, though. And I'd be really excited with this fullback if he wasn't 30 years old. We've got Christian Borja, who is really quite decent. He's got a consistent run here of scoring one. Oh, there's only one team he hasn't scored one goal for. <laughs> Apart from that, he plays 30 games or so, scores one goal, and then he leaves. Why would you do that? We've got João Moutinho, who's played for his country 146 times. That is amazing. He's very much like Jose Font, where he, he's, he, he's got... Oh, with a little bit more pace. Nine pace and a 36-year-old I'm quite happy with. He's got traits for days. Yeah, look how many traits he does have. He's got amazing first touch, passing, vision, teamwork, technique. He's fantastic. I think he'll play at least one season for us. In the attacking midfielder department, we've actually got some youth here. The Uruguayan Rodrigo Zalazar, apart from his name being incredible, he's just joined us from Schalke. He's played one game and scored two goals for his country. And look at him. Only 23. His physicals are lacking a little bit, but again, he's got a lot of player traits and his mentals are very, very good. I, I would love to keep a hold of him. He's going to be on our attacking midfielder role. I'm going to switch it up this time. And our best attacking option is Ricardo Horta. He is absolutely amazing. Look at him. 15s, 16s and 17s all over the pitch. He is a winger, but I'm going to try and play him either as a striker or as Oh, inside forward. I don't know. He can play all across the front four positions, but he's going to be amazing. Who actually wants you? Chelsea wants him. Oh, you could be going in the window, mate. You could be going. Before I get into the first transfer window, thank you so much for clicking and watching. Like, share, and subscribe. We've been doing amazing going from strength to strength on the channel. Thank you so much, guys. We've got three and a half million pounds to spend, 9K in the wages. If we can sell a few people on, there's some big teams that want some of our players. I will move them on mercilessly to bring in the right team. I'll catch you in a minute. Nobody wanted to buy any of my players. I couldn't find anyone I wanted to buy. So very interesting transfer window. No one in, no one out. How exciting. Uh, but they've got, we've got a really strong squad. I was wanting to play through the middle, but I found Broomer. As, if you've known him, he's just rapid winger. Really, really good. As we know, flair, dribbling and pace is very good for wingers. 
and Horta can also play well out on the wing. So we're playing with the inside forwards yet again just because we've got so much pace in the team. We've even got Alvaro Jarlo, and he could also play on both wings. He's only 23 years old. Just incredible pace. So wingers, 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 wingers. So we have to play with wide men. It's just, you know, we've got them in the squad. They have to play there. So this is what we're going to play. 4-2-2-2 with wide men. Matias, Victor Gomez, Sarkti. Niacate, Borja, Moutinho, Victor Cavalier, Horta, Banza, Ruiz, and Bruma. It's how I expect the team to line up, though we will never know what the team will line up as with the AI in charge. We are still predicted solidly in fourth. I mean, bloody hell, this league drops off a cliff. Look at this. 5, 4, 9, 5, 7, 2, 21, 150, 300, and then blah, 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 blah. This is... What a strange league. You've got leagues around the world where it's like one team, two teams maybe... Three. I don't know many with three that are just so out there. I think in the last few years, if we look at this league, yeah, look, the last few years, each one of them's won it, which is really good. Because you, you know who's going to win? Look, Benfica, Porto, Benfica, Porto, Sporting, Porto, Benfica again. That is really competitive, actually. So it must be very exciting as all three fans of these, these three clubs. We're in all four competitions the Daka Liga, Champions League. We have to qualify against Genk and then after Genk, probably Marseille. So that's going to be really difficult to get through. We've got the Taka de Portugal placard and also Liga Portugal. Breaking into the top three is the main aim for this season. That'll be an amazing achievement for us. Maintain Champions League status. Win a domestic cup would be outrageous. Let's see how we get on in our debut season. Season one over and the very predictable. Very, very, very predictable. We did come fourth. <laughs> we were in our own little island. We were nowhere near fifth. So Europa League was, you know, never in doubt. We, I know part way through the season, we were battling out with Sporting, but they ended up pulling away and... But if you can deserve to win, great goal difference. Only lost three games. Porto close second by a point in it. But also sporting again on their little own island in third. In the numbers, Jokures, whatever you want to call him, he's absolutely insane. One of the best drags in the game. No shock that he came first. However, Abel Ruiz did come second. Very happy with him. No one in the average ratings. No one in the assists. Abel Ruiz in man of the matches. Equal second. No one in the clean sheets. But the shit the only thing that matters in our rebuild, Shithouse Award, goes to Saatchi and Victor Carvalho. Well done, boys. That's all I care about. We won the league in my eyes. That's not the same thing. In the other competitions, Champions League, we got knocked out in the group stages. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what's worse. The group, Barcelona, Leipzig, Newcastle, or our points tally? Zero. We lost every single game Minus 15 goal difference. Pathetic. I will caveat that with this is a mental group. This is a very strong group. And I'm not even surprised we didn't get through it. I'm, wow. That also goes down as the worst Champions League showing we've had thus far in rebuilds. In the Taka da Liga, we did get knocked out in the semi-finals by Benfica. No shame in it. But we did. We did win Taka de Portugal Placard. We beat, we beat them 4-0. We beat them 4-0 in the final. We beat Sporting Lisbon 4-0 in the final. So, very happy. Abel Louise gained five goals in the competition. And there was absolutely no competition in the, in the final. It looks like these are playing well. I may do what I do normally and play these just behind the strikers as if I'm playmakers. These two might have to go in the... In the transfer window, we'll have to see. The numbers. We had Abel Ruiz, 25 goals, 22 for Banza, 15 for Bruma, and 10 apiece for Jallo and Pierre. Lucas Pia is on. All right. 17 assists for Victor Gomez. Well done. That's a lot, lad. Amazing work there. He didn't play for me. Also, yeah, Ali Al Mazrati. Look how good he is. He's on loan. He's coming back. So happy days there. Borja got 11 assists, so did Bruma, and then everyone else competes off. I'm also going to stop talking about the youth candidate intakes unless there's someone outrageous to point out. Typically, let's go through and everyone's rubbish or they're fairly good and they never get played, so I don't want to waste your time. The numbers, looking at the season as a whole, we scored the third most goals, can see the seventh were, oh, that's not that great, 79, 79 yellow cards. And 16,000 attendance. That's only half our stadium. What's going on? You've got no friends. Money-wise, we've been given 
23 million pounds and 22,000 pounds in the wages. Amazing, incredible news. We can make this money stretch a very, very long way as we know. Looking for some free transfers, trying to sell some of our players on. I'm going to try and change the formation to get us up the league. It's going to take us a fantastic window to crack into that top three. Let's see how we get on. I'll catch you in a second. Second again, minute. Catch you in a minute. We start this window by going in the past. I had a look at the team after the first review and noticed that Ricardo Horta was in fact sold to PSG. They triggered his £28 million release clause and he went. That's why we got so much money. I thought the club was being really generous. He went last season in January. Little shit. I finally found a club for Alvaro Diallo. He went for £5 million. Why so cheap? Because no one else wanted him. I didn't feel we did as well as we should have done last season. So I've gone back to a 4-2-2 narrow. So we'll see how Alvaro Diallo does at Leicester. Wish him the best. You know, 52 games, 8 goals, not good enough. Ruben went for £9 million. Again, cheap, but he's getting on. He's worth so much more money now. But we've got claws on him. So we might be able to claw some of that money back. But again, pace merchant out on the wing. Don't play him. Off he went. And the, the worst transfer, the transfer that really upset me, really pissed me off. Abel Ruiz had a sensational season last year. He would not sign a new contract. He wanted to go from like nine grand to 60, 70 grand. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to give him that. He wouldn't sign a new deal. I had to sell him and he'd only go for 10 million pounds. And we're paying nine grand of his wages, but I'm not going to lose him for free. So he's gone. So we brought in a rebuild favourite, Eric Dyer, for free. He was willing to play for us. Only £33,000 a week he wants. The Englishman capped 49 times for his country. even scored three goals. He's, uh, he's going to be good. He can play the CDM role and centre back. I, I really like how he's a solid player. Another rebuild favourite, Robin Husha. He's not going to start. The game really doesn't rate him. I think he's quite good. Solid all round in all three categories. I really like him. Only with 800 grand. I don't know why they don't like you, Robin. Look at that jawline. What's not to like? My favorite transfer for just three and a half million from Tel Aviv. We brought in Dor Tugman. So I'm going to call him. He's a wonder kid. He is incredible. The Israeli's got five caps and one goal. He's got ears that would make Dumbo blush. He's, he's a solid player. He's only 20. Wonder kid. I expect this all to go up. He's got 15 pace, acceleration, 12th strength. Solid player all round. Great, great, great bit of business. For a total £27 million when all payments go out for Nicolas Castro from Elche. He's, he's great. Yeah, really, really good. Plays that advanced playmaker on support with perfection. I mean, look at him. Great passing technique, long shots, flare, first touch. Shoots from distance, which is good because his long shots are good. He's already worth loads of money. Got a £60 million release clause on him. Welcome, Nicolas Castro. And lastly, from Corinthians, we brought in Yuri Alberto for just £22 million. He is rapid and loves to knock the ball past opponents. He can certainly do that with that pace. He's very young still, 23 years old. He has been capped for his nation of Brazil. He's on a lot of money. He's here for the foreseeable future of the rebuild. And I think he'll help get lots of goals. This is how I imagine the team will line up. As you can see, still a very big squad, which I'm quite happy with. We have Mateus, Gomez, Dyer, Niakate, Borja, Cavani. Valio, Almazrati, Zalazar, Castro, Alberto, and Tugman. Very, very good team. Wouldn't you know it? I mean, if I was a betting man, I would have said fourth. We're still predicted fourth. So what are you, you going to do? Money-wise, we still have plenty of money to spend. But as you know from other rebuilds, we will keep this money situation as positive as we can. We've got £7 million with £68,000 in the wages. I'm not going to spend money for spending money's sake. Europa League football this season. I want to retain a domestic cup. I'd love to win the other domestic cup. And let's break into the top three. I'd take third, but second is what I'd really, really like. Catch you in a minute. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so confused. I'm so happy. We, <laughs> we did it, lads. We won the league. We smashed the league. We lost one game, drew one game, 97 points. Just, just blew me away. I cannot believe we managed to do it in our second season. Win the league for Braga for the first time in their history. Smashing away the big three teams. But if you look at the stats, we're nowhere. Tony Martin, Tarimi, 
I, I, you know, not in the top goal scorers, not in the top three players. Gomez is the only player featured here with 15 assists. No man of the matches, no clean sheets, and no shit houses. What's that, brother? And we won the league? What is going on? We also won the Super Taka Candido. Fragilistic, expialidocious. De Oliveira. Woo! I think it's the Charity Shield in, in Portugal. We got knocked out by Napoli in the Europa League. Ignore that it says Champions League. We did get knocked down the sixth round by Football Club. Oh, it's Porto. I was thinking, who the hell is that? Porto. Porto also knocked us out of the Taka de Liga. So, screw off Porto. The numbers. Tugman. Tugman. 34 goals in 39 games. 33 goals. In 37 games for Banza, Yuri Alberto got 17 goals, 16 for Castro, 15 for Zalazar, 15 for Horta. Amazing lads, There's goals all over the place. 21 assists for Victor Gomez. That is amazing. 17 assists for Zalazar, 16 assists for Marin. Just, oh, just, just incredible, amazing boys. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Again, no massive change in the youth, so I'm going to give that a bit of a miss. But if you look here, 118 goals scored, only 30 conceded, 64 yellow cards, still not enough as rookie numbers. Get, get, get them up, get them up. Money-wise, going into this next season, we did spend a lot last year, and we did reap the rewards of that. However, we've got eight and a half million pounds to spend and 73,000 pounds in wages, so we don't have a huge amount of money. However. We've got a league title, baby. If that doesn't want to make you like, share, and subscribe, I don't know what will. Uh, thank you again if you made it this far. But, dude, seriously, if you've enjoyed it, hit a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to me. I do these. I'm trying to get as many out as I can now, two a week, ideally. So, yeah, thank you for your support. We go into our third transfer window, see if we can sell some of the big-time stars, get a lot of money in to get maybe some more budget, or... Be a quiet one. Either way, I'll catch you in a minute. It has been a very quick and a very quiet window, and I'm not sure I've made the right choices. These boys left. D couldn't name any of them. And we did bring in another wonder kid. Second wonder kid in Ben's Dade. I can't remember what team we signed him for, but he was stolen from us last time. I've slapped a £60 million release clause on him. If anyone wants him, you're going to have to cough up this time, boys. He can play all across in the midfield. He's a really good utility player, but obviously he's going to be playing in the advanced playmaker on support. Only cost us £9 million. He's got bags and bags of potential. He's going to be a really shrewd signing for us for the money. I'm just not sure I spent my money in the right place. As you can see, we are really light in the defence. I'm not entirely satisfied with you know, the amount of players that I've got defense-wise, with absolute tons of quality. I think we could have better fullbacks, especially Marin. But this is how I imagine the team will line up. We've got Matias, Gomez, Sachi, Niakate, Marin, Cavalier, Maserati, Dardai, Castro, Alberto, Turgman. A few players may come in. You know, we've got the likes of Banza. We've got the likes of Horta. We've got the likes of Dyer. I've also got Zalazar. And I promoted João Marquez to the first team. Look how good this kid is. He's got loads of aggression. And that's all you need to know. Very aggressive player. He's yet to play for us. He's 22, capped at under 21 level. He, I'm really, really happy with him. Just had a little dip into my youth team and found him. And this is why I feel like I didn't need our die. I should have got a better left back. So I'm, I'm kicking myself. Season preview will come with no shock. We are predicted fourth again. League champions fourth, whatever. But yeah, we are amongst your know, Porto at top, Benfica second, Sporting third. Can we disrupt them again? That's the main aim. I'm not I'm not particularly happy with the finances. We've got minus basically 10 million pounds, minus 10 million. I've spent a lot in transfers. You know, the, the finances I'm normally quite good with. I did push it. We did win a title, our first ever. So it's definitely worth it. But I think the knock-on effect next season will be quite catastrophic. So, aims for this season, retain the title, do at least one domestic cup. We've got two good chances to win a domestic. I don't include the Charity Shield in Major Trophy, so I want to win the league, a domestic trophy, and get to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Quarterfinals would be amazing. I'll see how we get on. I'll catch you in a minute. We've done it again. We've absolutely smashed it, boys. Two league titles in a row. Although I will caveat this with, I really feel we did not deserve it this time. Let's have a look. 
We drew a level on points, draws, losses, wins, everything identical apart from the goal difference, which was a chasm of 17 goals different. However, we did a double over Porto and that makes us league champions. I disagree. I don't make the rules. So yeah, brilliant. Two for two. You should be ashamed. Now, stats-wise, again, we are yet to be seen in the top goal scorers and the average rate is this Galano kid is winning it again. Oh, my God. I am not surprised. However, Dardai got 12 assists. Well done. No man of the matches. Matthias. Matthias, my boy, got himself on the golden glove. Well done. And that's what I'm talking about. We're back, baby. No shit houses last year. All the shit houses this year. Carvalho, Gomez, and Mendez. In the other competitions, in the Super Taka Candito de Oliveira, we lost. We lost to our fierce rivals 1 0. So Victoria beat us there. However, we won the Taka de Liga. Come on. Really well done. We smashed. We seem to get to finals and just we don't bottle the finals. We won 5 0. Won in the final against Sporting. Thank you very much. And we also won the Taka to Portugal placard. A 4-1 win after extra time, thus completing a historical domestic treble. I love domestic trophies. Get in, lads. Well done. However, we did get knocked out in the league phase of the Champions League. We're quite bad. We're quite bad at the Champions League. And if Slavia Prague made it through, we didn't make it through. Aston Villa made it through, and we didn't make it through. Rakow got more points than we did. Who did we even play? Lost to Ajax. Oh, lost to Stuttgart. Should be winning that. We lost to Wren. We beat, but then we beat Bruce Dortmund. And then we lost to Galatasaray. We drew to Nice. Just lost to Arsenal and lost to Real Madrid. I, yeah, we dropped the ball there. Just terrible, terrible results. Not good enough, boys. In the numbers, Yuri Alberto stepping up. 26 goals for the young man. 19 for Dardai. Love that. Turgman got 16, 14 for Banza, 11 for Castro, 21 assists for Dardai. What a player. 16 for Marin, Gomez of 14, and then a bit of drop off of there. Now, the finances aren't looking the best. We are now minus 22 million pounds. I've started something that I cannot stop. I may have to sell some of our big hitters. I'm going to go to the transfer window being very cautious, very careful. Maybe just some freebies. We can't put the pedal to the metal. Our youth is doing well. Dada is doing well. Alberta's doing well. This is a temper the expectations on big transfers and a busy transfer. We only brought in one player last year. If I can get some sales, all will be well. So I'll have to see. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay. The very quiet, very, again, <laughs> kind of ruined this entire video's transfers with the first couple. But uh, Marin left for free. You should left for free. Uh, quite a lot left for free. But, you know, they weren't amazing players. We didn't spend any money on them, so it's not a big loss. We brought in, for free, Marcus Solbakken from Sparta Prague. He's, he's really good. I really quite like him. We had a lot of players leave, especially in the midfield. He is solid all across the board, and he's got loads of traits. So many traits. So I'm really happy with him. I think he'll fit in very well. Another midfielder, again, needed the numbers, is Turma Besic, formerly of Lazio. He came in for free, gives us good free kicks. Again, solid everywhere. Solid everywhere. Could play all the way back in defence, all the way up in advanced playmaker. So really good versatility. He's also capped for Croatia. Again, good all-rounder. And there was no left-backs, okay? So Matty Target of Newcastle, was available on the free. He's got a beautiful smile on him. Look at that little face. He is unfortunately going to be our left back. What, what is this? For what? Why? Hopefully I can get the best out of him. 30 years old. I'm not going to hold my breath. We'll see how he gets on. The team will line up something like this. Matias Gomez, Sachi Nikate, Target, Zalazar, Sol Barkin, Dadai, Turgman, Alberto and Castro. I did get an offer for Zalazar, but he's just too versatile and too good. So I want to keep the team together as best I can. And this is what they're going to look like. If I had a pound for every time we were predicted fourth, predicted fourth again, back-to-back -back champions, treble holders, predicted fourth. I mean, the team has kind of tread war. We haven't got better. We haven't got worse. So I'm, I'm not surprised. Finance-wise, it's got a little better. We've got you know, still room in the wages, but I'm going to wait for the next season to see if that gets any better. This is the penultimate season. Can I make it three league titles in a row? 
Can we hold on to our domestic trophies as well? And can we actually get out of the league phase? And we've got to stop saying quarterfinal, semifinals, Champions League. Just get out of the league phase will be enough for me. Let's see how we get on. I'll catch you in a minute. Oh, boys, the bad season caught with us. The bad transfer window finally got us. I'm not sure if we've ever won the league and then given the league up in any of our rebuilds, but we have here at Braga. Two in a row for us, but we've let it slip and the big three went at it pretty much on their own. If you look at the form table, we were just behind them all the way until we kind of fell off towards the end. We lost seven games, which is a lot for us. Goal difference there was the best in the league, so we were scoring, but we're conceding quite a lot. Top goal scorer is Tony Martin. Oh my God, so good. And Alexander Mitrovic is now playing his football in Portugal. Galano has been the best player in the league, I think, since we started. But Zalazar getting number two. Thank you very much, lad. My target. I don't know why I doubted you, lad. He got us 14 assists, as did Zalazar. Zalazar got six man of the matches. No clean sheet man there. Sorry, boy. He said, let us down. And Carvalho representing us in the shithouse. Not yeah, That's why... We've fallen off. Not a shit house. It's gone. So we need to we need to get that fixed. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? The super attacker Candido de Oliveira. We won it again. That's very good. Makes me happy and warm inside. We did lose in the final. Our final streak has gone. The Taka de Liga. We lost 1-0 to Sporting. Uh, Alberto was the top goal scorer and most man of the matches. But yeah, we lost in the final to Sporting 1-0. We knocked down the fifth round of the Taka de Portugal de Placard by Sporting de Colvi... Who the, who the hell are these? A second-tier team. Oh, my word. They've got a stadium of 3,500. My God. In the Champions League, we did our objective. We did get beyond the league phase. However, we did lose to Man City. And I say a lot, but there is actually no shame in losing to Manchester City. The 6-3 you know, on aggregate. Okay, I can take that. We lost 4-3. And then in the reverse fixture, we lose 2-0. So... But progress is what that is. Progress. Very, very happy. The numbers. Yuri Alberto, 29 goals for him. 20 for Banza. Turkman got 17. 16 for Zalazar. What a player. And 11 for Castro. Great shout keeping him. Assists, 17 apiece for Target and Zalazar. 12 for Solbakken. And 11 for Mendes. Why are you unhappy, Matt? Matt Target is... Because he's... <laughs> Or oh, unhappy at failing to learn to speak Portuguese. Well, just keep trying, lad. You live there. Got to say, I'm disappointed with Ben Star dies. Not really living up to my expectations. I may sell you one. You know, I thought to keep you, but not sure. So as you can see, we did actually score the most 104 goals. And we did have an okay defense. Top seven in defense. But that is what's cost us. We conceded far too many goals. The best yellow cards. And we did get a better average attendance of 25,000. That's much, much better. £400,000 to spend, £87,000 though in the wages. I've got a lot of young talent that I could sell. If the right price came in, I am willing to let them go. But I'm probably going to try and get a couple more free gems. It's the last season, so I'm going to have to try and get some Europa League quality players in to challenge. I'll catch you in a minute of our final transfer roundup. Made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a <laughs> My defense was all terrible. However, Matthias was a very good goalkeeper. I didn't see that his contract was due and he's gone to Al Fire. Um, and I would have kept, I would have fought to keep him because he's got 17 reflexes, a good communication. He's just a solid goalkeeper. So I had to go get another goalkeeper. And he was the last goalkeeper. So I had to go get another two goalkeepers. Stupid thing to do. Banza also went to Celtic. They couldn't believe their luck. I mean, he's 30 years old, but he has got 16 finishing and 12 composure. And he's just pretty decent. 77 goals in 133 games for us. Very good player. He wanted something like 50-odd grand, and he was on like 12, so I was told him to bugger off. And we bid farewell to Eric Dyer, but he's, uh, his legs are kind of gone. He wouldn't really, he doesn't really feature at the back for me, so he's, I've moved him on. We've not done well with him, so... Goalkeeper number one, we brought in the Filipino legend, Neil Etheridge. He's 37 years old, 105 caps for his country. He's he's actually decent, you know. Uh, you know, borderline almost as good as the goalkeeper that I got. Another former Premier League player in Vout Faze. 
He's a Midlands footballing legend. He is the sideshow Bob of Leicester and Aston Villa. He is really good. He's a really good step up from what we've had. And he also stays back at all times, which is desperately what we need. I want someone to show up the defence. He was free of charge. I'm very happy we got him. And another ex-Aston Villa player. We got Cameron Archer again for free. He's a 17 finishing, 17 composure. 16 acceleration he's just amazing he's a goal scoring machine and I'm, I'm expecting big things from him i wasn't looking for a striker but he was available i thought you know what i'll take him i'll take the lot we finally got in a quick fullback my target will be out of the team now displaced by flavio nazinho it's a pretty cool pretty awesome name to be fair kid he's uh formerly of boa vista because it's 1.7 million and uh yeah purely got him because he's quick and we want players that can run up and down and get the assists 1.9 million pounds is enough to convince Real Sociedad to let us have Joseida. He's, uh, yeah, what a good player. Quick, like his counterpart Nazinho on the other wing. He's got a bit more about him when it comes to technicals and mentals, but he's mainly here for his physicals, knocks the ball past opponents. As we saw with Wembangomo, you just need pace. I almost bought him again, but I like to mix it up. Welcome, Isaida. And last but not least, I spent £1.7 million on João Paulo. He is all right. I'm very unhappy that we had to get a new goalkeeper. He's not as good as our old goalkeeper, but he's stacked full 14, so don't be fooled. He is a solid keeper, better than Etheridge. He's not capped for Brazil, but uh, the uh, best I could do. This was the largest auto that I could afford. And with the transfers, I imagine that the team will line up something like this. If I was in charge, this is how we'd look. João Paulo, Yoseda, Sachi, Faze, Nazinho, Solbacca, Zalazar, Dardai, Turgman, Archer, and Yuri Alberto. But who knows what our assistant will do. <laughs> Season preview, we're fourth. I think we could have had Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Zinedine Zidane, the second coming of Jesus Christ himself, and we'd be fourth in this uh, predicted league. But, you know, it's all about closing the gap. We're now looking for our third league title. I want more domestic trophies. I would love a European trophy. And this time in the Europa League, we've got an outside chance of just doing exactly that. Last season, let's go. I'll catch you in a minute. Oh, there we go, boys. There we go. Champions again. Winning the league last season. Three titles in five years for Braga. Just oh, really satisfying save this one. Really, really satisfying rebuild. Yuri finally found his potential. It was realized he brought us home 30 goals, winning himself the golden boot. Castro getting himself the top rate player in the league. Zalazar got 12 assists, so very, very happy with him there. Castro got himself eight man of the matches. João Paulo, second, equals second for the Golden Glove. Not bad in your debut. And Solbakken and Vauti Vais got us the shithouses of the season. That's what we do, boys. Get them back in, start kicking them. You win titles. It's not hard. We did come runner up in the Taka de Liga. The Taka de Portugal placard. We got knocked out by Lisbon. And bloody Lisbon knocked us out of the Europa League. The old 3 1 first win, then get bad in the second. It, it, we're just terrible at second legs. I, I'm cursed. The numbers 41 goals in all competitions for Yuri Alberto. He was on fire this season. 26 for Cameron Archer, 23 for Castro, 19 for Bentz, 17 for Turgman, 12 for Solbakken as well. Assists 22 for Zalazar, 17 for Nazinho. I told you'd be good at the assists. Castro got 16. Dadai got 14, Gomez got 12, and 10 for Garvalho. And there you have it, lads. There you have it, boys. We're leaving this team with, I was about to say money in the bank. Money in the budget, not in the bank. But we're leaving the team three titles better than when we left them. Domestic trouble we did as well. Europe has eluded us quite a lot, but ultimately we did fulfill our mission of bringing titles to Braga after such a long, long wait for them. And we're now in and amongst the big three. We can now call it a big four. Thank you very much if you made it this far. Like, share and subscribe. Really do appreciate it. We're making headway now. Let me know in the comments below what teams you want me to do. Let me know in the comments as well what you change changed about these videos, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. I will, you know, bend to your will in reason and again thank you for making it this far and take care